Thanks everybody for being here. Um, it has been a while since I did a Patreon exclusive live. And if this goes well, we can look at making it at least once a month. I think that'd be really cool. I, I really appreciate y'all following me and supporting me. And um, I, I want to give back to you in the ways that I can. And it's important that like, since this isn't like a subscription on TikTok, I, I it's easier, I guess, for me to kind of see all of you like here and y'all are my people and i, I want to give you um more attention because you followed me off of that app to go on another app sort of so um but yeah as far as like what we do tonight as i mentioned you're welcome to utilize the chat um you're you're welcome to speak and that kind of thing i think just because we're getting more and more people just uh use the hand raise function and i'll just kind of um go back and forth if we have like specific questions i didn't plan anything in particular for this live just because i wanted to give y'all space if you had questions on really anything um I think to start us off, though, it would be fun. I'm in my tent. I got my scarf. I figured we might do a little bit of um, just general message polls. The outlook, of course, comes out in a week. But um, yeah, I just figured we start that. So um, this only goes for those who offer their consent. So if you want to be a part of this read, just kind of you can ping to your spirit folks and be like hi i want to be a part of this read <laughs> thank you <laughs> i saw the hand you're like me i want to be a part of this <laughs> excellent <laughs> cool so i will start with a general read thank you thank you i i wish i could i feel like i'm high-fiving i see the hands and i'm like yeah yeah um but i also don't want to look like i'm punching the camera that looks violent i don't like that um <laughs> So I'll do a general read first, and I, I think I might just get to some polls and do some fun stuff. So as I said, if you consent, let your folks know. And what's general read for those either who are with us in live time or for those who are watching post? Anything for our folks here? Ah, OK, so we have pumice. So pumice, typically when I pull it, I immediately get a ping on what you're absorbing. Pumice is very absorbent. Some people like to wear it in jewelry and like dip it in um, different smelly perfume sorts of things or essential oils. So, hmm, but what are we looking at? Are we looking at personal relationships? Are we looking at no, this does, uh, generally speaking, for the collective, it does feel more like personal relationships. Um, and this isn't a warning. I just want to be clear about that. It doesn't feel like it's a warning of be careful because they're, they're like snakes in your den or something like that. No, it's nothing like that. It's just be sure that just because somebody else believes something or is like really getting behind it or something like that, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to believe it. And it also doesn't mean that you have to hate the person either. You know, they're entitled to their opinion. Um, of course, now we're also dealing with like news media sources that say that they're facts, but might be more like opinions. So just remember, always trust your gut, trust your intuition. If something doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you and that's entirely fine. Um, yeah, so just a reminder to be sure that what you're absorbing really does resonate with who you are here. Any, I mean, does anybody have like general questions or anything like that? You don't have to, we can always just like vibe with what we're going to. And you're welcome, I'm gonna check out the chat too in case anybody, um, cool, chat is good. I keep getting this feeling that I'm supposed to be working with a deity. I have no idea where to start. One, I would say the easiest thing to do would be to go to a deity reader. <laughs> That's what I did. Um, and granted, Sorsha is on my team. Um, like, of course, I recommend her, but like, that's not the only route you have to go. Um, let's see. I've asked before if I'm looking for a deity, um, I will ask for lots of signs, like hit me over the face. Let me have a conversation. One thing I noticed with deities, and maybe this is just me, um, I've had some other people who say they've had this a similar experience. Deities will sometimes put people in your life who speak for them. Um, like, for example, uh, I work with Hikate. Um, sometimes if I'm like, planning on doing a uh 
like channel writing session with her, somebody will call at the time I was about to set things up and do stuff. But then that somebody will say the exact thing that I needed to hear. And I'm like, oh, right. So you just sent somebody else to say the thing that you would have said, but like, it's easier when you just send somebody else to do the thing. Um, so another thing is with deity energy, remember the frequency, I, I like to refer to it as if like looking up or like feeling up. Um, guide energy is gonna generally be like up and out past loved ones will be kind of like here or here and down and then ghosts are like lower and lower. That's the easiest way I can describe it. Higher self would be like straight up and then deities are also kind of like up with a little bit to the side, a little bit there. Um, and experiences will vary, but that's a, a very general way that I can describe it. Um, other things with deities, like there are traditional signs that some deities, especially uh, anthropological signs that they might be sending, um, like animals, animals are usually a big one, colors, though sometimes depending on the, um, like how the deity is being perceived, colors can sometimes get a little bit wonky. Same thing with numbers. Um, sometimes the anthropological understanding of that deity is really twisted through time. Example, um, there's this modern, belief that Hakate, for example, is um, associated with cats because she's associated with witches, to which on the anthropological side, she's associated with black dogs <laughs> and she's associated with, um, it's not so much witches per se. It's just like when you think about it during ancient Greece ta Grecian times, witches wasn't exactly a thing. Like people were burning incense. Everybody was like giving, you know, uh, sacrifices or, or things to the gods um it's the, through the modern context that we look at these things and we're like oh okay so she would be a goddess of witches um and that that's one of those things some people are very gung-ho about the whole witch thing to which i'm like i don't even know where that came from personally it's not saying it's untrue but it's just not um historically uh backed up um Oh, I love that. <laughs> um, I'm reading the chat. So other things with deities, for me, I really need to be knocked over the head. Like I really need them to just like hit me over the head because I I don't naturally sit on that higher frequency. So maybe that means somebody comes into my life and they're like, I work with so-and-so. And then all of a sudden something clicks and you're like, so-and-so, who is that? And then you hear about so-and-so and then you're like, wow, that's more interesting. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. So Trust that when you're meant to work with somebody or somebody's around, it kind of feels second nature to kind of pursue that direction of where they are. Um, but remember, with any relationship, it is two ways. You know, you're doing the work by being curious and, and being, you know, open to this deity that's around you. Now it's, you know, understanding the signs that come, but also it's, it can't, it's up to the deity to put the things in your path that you need to be able to put together. Um, also, I will say in that, give yourself grace too. You know, maybe all those signs are already there, but you just don't have the glue yet. That's okay. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> they know this. <laughs> so don't be worried about it. Um, it's kind of a roundabout way, but, but does it help? Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. And um, my, my spirit guides have to quite literally knock me over the head too. So I get it. <laughs> that, that's another thing too i've been hearing this a bit more um some people's guides kind of like popping out uh remember they maybe not everybody but a lot of them are also having to get into this new energy that we're seeing so some of them also go away to make sure that they're checking themselves before they come back um sometimes they will try to communicate that uh sometimes if they don't think you're going to notice that they're gone they'll just like peace out and then come back later <laughs> Um, every now and then a guide may be like, cool, this energy is like a lot. So then they'll call another guide in, or maybe they served their purpose with you. Um, remember though, even with guides, uh, even if they've already done what they meant to with you, and maybe they've even moved on to somebody else, you can still ping them. Like they don't have to do anything for you. I mean, technically they don't have to do anything for you anyway. It's like they want to or something. Um, like they want to help us or something. Eh, just an idea. Uh, like I did this wild story. I actually found 
one of my spirit guides through mm, it was like i think i was rough it was before i turned 23 it was like my tween years into like my early 20 years um this guide for me showed up as an older lady though her energetic signature was the same and i want to bring attention to that because i saw this guide again with one of my friend's daughters but the thing is she was an older lady she was like this cool preteen because the daughter was younger same energy signature i could have fallen out of that chair because i was like i'm sorry like I recognize you. Like, how how are you doing? You're younger. <laughs> um, that being said, though, I for a time I still like pinged her from time to time, just to be like, "Hey, was there anything that we needed to like go over? Anything like I should review before moving on to my next guides?" Or like, "Hey, how's it going? What are you up to?" <laughs> I also do that with my guides, previous guides too. I will ping them and be like, "Hey." How's it going? You having a good time doing other guide work or whatever, whatever you're up to that you can't tell me about, but yeah. Um, so yeah, you can reach out to previous guides. That's all I'm saying. That was like a long story about like how you can actually do that. <laughs> and Tamara. I want to say thank you, Rebecca, because we had a read like two months ago. Mm -hmm. And after five years, I was finally able to feel my dad's energy. And that was so dope. So thank you so much. That is, thank you for sharing that with me, because that is so exciting. I'm so happy for you. Yay. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Katie again. Yeah. Hi. Um. So I am talking about the last video that you did about an updates of all of your friends and i have a question about molly so you said that she found her uh current self along the mediterranean and she's working with her higher self or that form of herself and if you could maybe clarify the differences between those two that would yes. be really cool thank you katie that's a great question and i feel like i don't know I, if, if there were like comments on that in my video i guess i haven't seen them yet but i was i was kind of waiting i was kind of like wow people just accepted this or like what it was which i was like cool we're all we're all along for the right now i guess i don't know where people are so i think that's a great question with ghosts being like a fragment of themselves uh like <laughs> i'm trying to not do the thing where i over explain things because i totally did that in a consultation today and it, they just went along with me and I was very appreciative for it. But at the same time, I was just like, I just could have given a simple answer. So ghost being a fragment of the soul is like the thing that gets left, left behind. That's why sometimes you see ghosts kind of like reliving a memory or reliving a time period or something like that. This is bothering me. Okay. So um, when the ghost figures out why they're there and they get to ask themselves like if they want to be there that's when they can move on this is why i'm regularly telling people like it's not like all ghosts need a psychic medium to come in and like save the day and move them on now many ghosts they're just like okay cool if if they figure out what they want and that they don't have what they want they can just go to it so molly was very well in her good mind like she was sentient she did not need my help <laughs> like she was entirely fine um however in hanging out with me and hanging out with some of the spirits i was hanging out with some of my guides um and some of the deities that kind of rolled in and that kind of thing molly had essentially checked the boxes of why she had stayed behind which in part i found out later was to get rupert and me a bit closer um what what gets somebody closer than like throwing a wrench in there and being like hey <laughs> So it was kind of like through annoying him, it was kind of like to check out who we were. Now this was like overarching stuff. The way that I found this out was I connected with um, a fuller part of her soul, which uh, that part was not incarnate. Um, that part kind of came in with more like a spirit guide frequency to them or to her, I should say. Um, she came in, spoke to me, explained how she knew Turnip, the fuller part of my soul, um she explained what she did which okay i feel like i can say that um she acts like a spy for um high paying 
higher beings. Uh, that's that's safe to say. Okay. So as she was doing that kind of thing, kind of working as a mercenary, um, but in a spy sense, uh, she was kind of like, okay, Molly's done what she needed to do. She can stick around. She can do what she wants. Though Molly was also very interested in this fuller self and was very much like, well, what, what do you do? Like, that seems really cool. Um, her fuller self is like Molly times 10 in the like, seduction department like she's just i was having trouble focusing because i was just like you're really pretty which i'm typically not like that like <laughs> i was really just like okay um so with molly being so sentient she's kind of become a bit fuller of herself she's a bit more of a more than a ghost so that's how she's able to like work with that fuller part of herself but sometimes they are kind of merged and sometimes it's like a piece is um doing something else or like running errands that kind of thing um does that make sense because it's okay if that didn't like i i'm trying to not overdo it okay so thank you for your nods does that make sense to anybody else <laughs> okay thank you it, it's great seeing nods because i'm just like <laughs> huh okay cool that was a great question um and, and thank you for asking it so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yes. And uh, thank you for joining this exclusive live. I've super enjoyed like being able to see some of your faces again. And for some of you seeing your face for the first time or just hearing your voice or seeing you in the chat. Um, I, I really appreciate you being here and uh, I will want to do this again. So save up your questions, your ideas, your curiosities, and um, I'll give you a, a small space where you're not fighting with, you know, all of TikTok in order to get my attention. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Well, everybody have a great night and um, I wish you well as we're moving towards the end of April.